Minecraft is having a mob vote. Or maybe they already had it. Depends when you're watching. But the goal is to pick which new mob will be added to Minecraft. Now, a normal person would just sit down and pick their favorite. But not me. I really gotta get to know these mobs first. So today, I'm gonna build a giant monument for each of the three mobs. And then decide which mob I'm gonna vote for. All in Minecraft hardcore. So first off, let's build the sniffer. Which is basically a dinosaur with a gigantic nose. And a shell, I think. It's time to get to work. Now, where should I build these monstrosities? I'm thinking somewhere around here, because I already got some mob statues in the area. So it'll fit in perfectly. New Terraforming time. Wait a second. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Introducing Mob Vote Hill. This will be the greatest hill of all time. Go away. He was killing the vibe. So I started collecting a ton of dirt so I could make a nice outline for the sniffer statue. I'm not gonna lie. It's really hard to make a mob that isn't out yet. I'm pretty much completely guessing on how it looks. I know it looks rough, but trust me, guys, I have a vision here. Dare I say it, this could be the best sniffer of all time. But to do that, I had to go get some more materials. What color is the sniffer? I'm seeing a lot of red and yellow. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Let me just pop in here to my automatic wool farm, and I'll take some of this. Thank you very much. And of course, some of this. And you can't forget a little bit of gray for his toes. And as I grab a few more materials, please subscribe and hit the bell. So we're gonna build his little gray feet. Now we're gonna build his fluffy red body. And finally, he needs that weird yellow nose beak thing. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna build it. And how could I forget his little floppy ears? <laughs> Got it. Nice. Stop it. Go away. No, go away. Trying to build a sniffer. I'm not gonna lie. I think I nailed this guy's face. I think it looks really good. But of course, there is one key thing I'm missing. Sniffers have some weird green shell or feathery thing on their back. Or is it moss? I don't know. But I gotta give him one because he currently looks a little bit naked and just not healthy. He has no back and he has spiders inside of him. Okay, BRB. Now what kind of block can- Ow. Now, what kind of block should I use? Ooh. Oh. <gasps> this is the one. Do I have any warp? Oh, I do. I have so much. I don't know why I do, but thank you. This is gonna be easy. So we're gonna do a little bit of this. Bring it around the side. And just stack this thing up a few more times. Easy peasy. And now, just to add a little bit of this blue stuff onto his face. Just like this. And it's raining right as I'm about to reveal him. Ugh. But putting the rain aside, look at this beautiful statue. This is literally the greatest build ever made in the history of Minecraft. Not even Grian could build something this good. I don't know why I just took a random shot at Grian. I'm sorry, Grian. I love you. Now, all jokes aside, I'm actually really proud of this statue. But there's a twist for today's project. All three of these mobs are gonna have a unique purpose. So I'm gonna build a contraption inside of each statue that replicates what that mob would do in the game. Now, for the sniffer, he loves plants and flowers. So I got a good idea. A giant flower farm inside of his body. Yes. And by the way, if I look or sound different, I just moved to a new apartment. And I've been vlogging the whole thing on my second channel. So link down below. Go check it out. But back to the flower farm. I'm gonna need some of this. Thank you. Some of this. A little bit of this. And last but not least, a good amount of these. Oh, well, it appears I'm short of bones. Give me one second. <laughs> Okay, it's flower farm time. Wait a second. I literally have a mob farm now. I'm so dumb. Infinite bones are right down here. All right, flower farm. No more distractions. Okay, let's sneak under the Balingan side. So we're gonna do a little bit of this. Bring it across here. Boom, boom, boom. And a whole lot of redstone. I'm never falling again. But as you can see, the circuit is working. Now all we gotta do is put a layer of blocks up here and do the last bit of redstone magic. And if I did it correctly, this should... <gasps> I definitely saw a flower, but the flowers aren't breaking. One second. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Farsi's a genius. I just had to make one small tweak, but now we have infinite flowers from our sniffer. And I can store all the flowers I get in this chest right here. Now this farm only works for small flowers, so I also made a little tall flower farm here. So very simply, I take a tall flower, smack it there, hit the lever, and boom, it duplicates with bone meal. Oh, I love the sniffer. As of right now, it's my favorite mob. Probably just the only mob I built so far, but still my favorite for now. Now before I move on to the the next mob statue, I want to put this flower farm to use. I have a new goal of building 
building a new building in my medieval town every single episode. And since we have all these flowers, I want to make a flower shop. So let's pop down here to the good old-fashioned tree factory. And what do we got in the chest? Oh, we have the wood. Yes. Now, where should I build this thing? Aha! How about down here by the greenhouse? I say we do it. Okay, the outside's looking pretty good. But now it's flower time. And easy as that. Now I got a place to store my extra flowers. And we have a nice new build for our town. It's a win-win scenario. But carrying on with our mob statues, it's time to build the rascal. He's basically a homeless cave dweller who loves hide and seek. Kind of weird if you ask me. But I'm not here to judge. I'm here to build. So let's pop right here next to the sniffer and build a little outline for the rascal. Think it goes kind of like this. And I think up a little bit. Like that? Um, yeah? Uh, I have no idea how to build this nerd. We got a lot of work to do. So I hopped in to a separate creative mode world so I can practice building a rascal statue. And let me just say, this was pretty difficult. I think I'm making good progress, maybe? It's just so hard to make mobs that don't exist yet. I'm really struggling here. But after some trial and error, I was pretty satisfied. Now back to my hardcore world. Okay, so for this rascal, I'm gonna need quite a lot of clay blocks. So where can I find clay? I'm pretty sure it spawns in rivers. Oh, I was right. Thank you very much. Huh, I don't actually see much more. Um... Oh my gosh, look at my tools. I was not paying attention to that. I probably should go heal these things up. To the Enderman XP farm. <laughs> and that right there is much better. And while I'm in the neighborhood, Broderick, what's up, buddy? I don't know if you heard, but today's the mob vote day. So tell me, who's your favorite mob? Who are you voting for? No, you don't care? All right, here's the deal. You better give me your favorite mob vote or else bad things might happen. Okay, bye. I'll be back later. Okay, back to getting clay. Can you stop that place? Don't be drowned. Stop it. I hate all of you. I hate your kind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait just a second. Ow, ow. Please stop. I may hate the drown, but oh my gosh, they just helped me out so much. Down here is actually a lush cave. And if you guys don't know, these caves have huge clay deposits. And axolotls. Oh, I love you. But no time for friends. I have a job to do. And after grabbing a few more materials, it was time to build the rascal. So we're going to make his stubby little feet. His cute little clothes. And his ginormous head. And he looks not complete. I forgot this loser has a backpack. Maybe he's a student. Well, good on him for getting an education. Kids, stay in school. Oh my gosh, the backpack made this guy so much more adorable. Oh, look at him. He has a little opening to put some books in. He looks so cute and innocent. Oh man, I love the sniffer, but this guy definitely is way cuter. And for that, I say mission successful. Now, one cool feature about the rascal is if you find him, he'll give you precious loot. And as of right now, his loot is actually an enchanted pickaxe. So I'm gonna build a redstone-powered enchanted tool factory inside of the rascal. And this goes without saying, but we got a lot of work to do. This is not going to be an easy thing to make. As a matter of fact, I have no clue how to make it in the first place. But let's figure it out. So my goal here is to push a button and get a free enchanted tool. So if I ever die and lose all my stuff, I can go get more tools for free. Wait, it's hardcore mode. Uh, I kind of have no purpose for this build now. Well, who cares? I'm doing it anyways. So I'm going to need some redstone. Ha, uh, get it. Red, red, get it. You guys get it. it it's redstone. Uh, I have no friends. Oh, fight, 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 go. Yes, you got it, skeleton. I believe in you. Dude, just hit the 2v1. You're a legend. And now you're dead. Legends never die, except for him. He most certainly died. Wow, boom. And this legend almost died too. Ho, ho. Oh, boy. Now, I think it makes the most sense to get dispensed the tool from like his hand, like he's handing it to you. So I'm going to go like this. Go like that. Bing, bang, bong. And let's give it a little test. Oh, it works so well. Okay, we're going to need a lot of tools. So I'm going to get some sticks. Pop on down here to the iron farm and get a bunch of iron. And we craft a lot of pickaxes. Oh, my gosh. And you can't forget the most important part. I got to enchant them all. And let me just say, I was regretting my idea completely. I don't know why I did this. I'm literally never going to use these tools. But all that being said, there is the rascal. Thanks for the iron pickaxe with efficiency two. I appreciate it, nerd. I like you so much more. So with the two mob statues out of the way, we can now focus our attention to the last one, the tough golem. But before that, I got to take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 20,000 likes, I would make a giant end crystal launcher and try and 
MLG water bucket the landing. And you guys absolutely nailed it. This is gonna be dangerous. So how does one even make an end crystal? End crystal? Oh, I guess I need a ghast tier? I don't really know why, but okay. Let's go make some ghasts cry. I see one. Die. Oh, I got one. No, 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 no. I don't think I got it. Did I get <gasps> I did get it. Success. Wait a second. I probably need more than just two. Oh, hello there. Nice to meet you. Oh, oh, oh. I got a wither skull. Cool. And that should be good. Now, I've never actually built one of these things before, so hopefully I don't murder myself. Let me just fly out here to a nice open area. Over here should suffice. So I guess I just put down some obsidian here on the floor. And I guess I need to push the end crystals into the middle with a piston like this. Ooh, I am confused, but it looks like it's working, so we keep going. And here's the last one, and I think that's all we need for this bad boy. Oh dear, I'm afraid. I'm actually terrified of this. Water bucket, check. Let me just do a little test here, see if I still got it. Oh, easy, easy peasy. This should be a breeze. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Ooh. That didn't work. Um, BRB. Okay, take two. I guess I'm supposed to jump into the middle and like hit it while I'm on the way down. So like this. Huh? I'm so confused. So I did some research and found out some bad news. Apparently these launchers don't work on Java edition. Time for plan B. Just a good old fashioned MLG water bucket with no totem. All right, three, two, one, go. You got this. You got this. He's the hardcore king. Yes. Absolutely nobody is better. Except for him. Don't kill me. Don't him, please. Thank you. Okay, bye. But that being said, if this video gets 20,000 likes, I'll try to finally kill the warden and complete the monster's hunted achievement. He's the only mob I have left. So with my antics out of the way, let's begin building the tough golem. The tough golem is basically an item frame that moves. Wait. That's it? It just holds items and moves around? I thought there'd be more to that, but I guess we'll build it. Now, the good thing about this mob is it seems very simple to build. So I'm just gonna wanna grab some more wool from the wool factory. And I'm thinking like a light gray and a little bit of red and yellow for his little dress skirt thing. Do you guys find it weird that the tough golem has like no tough actually in it? Like I see zero resemblance here. So far, this mob is not impressing me. I just hope he's cute. Okay, first off, we gotta do a little bit of terraforming around here. Uh, horsey, I suggest you move. Thank you. What did I just say? What, what, what? Oh no, he despawned. That was so tragic. Nice little custom cliffside. And now time to make this totally useless mob. We got the legs. We got the body. His useless little arms. And his ugly little face. And the verdict is stupid. Kinda cute, but looks kinda like a robot too. I don't know, man. Something's like missing here. I don't know what though. Oh, wait. Maybe I can salvage this. I have a good idea. Boom, 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 boom. And boom. Now his clothes look a little more wavy. Oh yeah, I like how that looks a lot. Now what can I put on the inside to showcase his functionality. Hmm. And there we have it. The entire functionality of the tough golem. He can hold items and he can move around. Yep, that's about all he's good for. Stupid mob. Uh, hello there. Do you guys like the tough golem? It's the tough golem fanboys. Go away. It's a terrible mob. It has no functionality at all. And it's super boring. Ooh, that was a close one. So with the three mobs built and out of the way, it's time to vote on our favorite. Also kind of off topic, but I hate the background behind me. Stupid new apartment. Oh, wait, good idea. Let me just borrow you and you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Minecraft doors behind me. I really got to decorate this place better. But for now, the doors stay on. But getting back on track, it's time for our mob vote. And I think I can easily say without a doubt, my favorite mob is the Sniffer. The rascal's kind of cute, but you can't beat a new new animal. And the golem never stood a chance. I hate him so much. But I don't always make the best choices, as we've already seen today. So I want to ask someone who is smart. Just a little bit further, Broderick. And here we are. Okay, Broderick, I brought you back from space for this, so you better answer correctly. Who is your favorite mob? Don't sway his vote. <laughs> Come on, you know the answer, buddy. I will send you back to space so fast. Uh, 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 move, 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 move. <laughs> Come on, pick one. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Good. Do it. Do it. Yes. 
He's spoken. He likes that one the best. What a smart man. Now get back up to space. Well, it looks like I'll be voting for the sniffer, but I encourage you to vote for whoever you like, no matter which mob it is. I'll support you no matter what. Sniffer supremacy. Well, now that I voted, what should I do with these other two statues? Oh no, they despawned. So tragic. I'm just kidding. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.